Breakpoints are the easy way to go when you want to stop the execution of your software based on a specific event. So to create breakpoints, you simply have to enter the code menu and go to breakpoints. From here, you can create a new breakpoint or you can simply download the existing one from a file uh, or save your current breakpoint. You can also ask from preferences file to automatically reload your previous breakpoint file definition automatically at startup. So when you start Siren, the breakpoints are already in memory and ready to use. Uh, when you create a new breakpoint, you first need to define what is the source uh, of the breakpoint. It could be an address or a range of address. If we care about everything that could end up uh, in, for example, the SCB part, um, if we, we care about the SCB of line zero of the graphic page, it could be simply an address. If you are more interested or any SCB CB uh, of the area, you can simply define the uh, range of address from uh, 9D0 up to the end of the SCB. You can also create um, a breakpoint based on a symbol. Uh, you can also create a breakpoint based on a system call. In this case, it could be a Prodos 8, Prodos 16, a GSOS call, or any toolbox call. If you want to stop when invalid rectangle is called, simply define it like that. If you don't find uh, a way to stop, but you want to stop on a specific operation, up to you to type yours. Uh, let's say that every time I want this operation to run on the processor, I want to be stopped. So you simply enter your opcode and uh, operand uh, like if it was in your assembly uh, editor. You enter and you will see the byte, uh, the object byte generated automatically. You can also ask uh, for a stop or uh, a raise of breakpoint based on uh, the content of the uh, uh, register. Uh, in this case, so based on uh, the type of source, you end up with a trigger. So system call operation are only execution. Register is old, only old. So for example, in this case, uh, I want to be stop when uh, Y register old uh, zero zero has eight bit value, so I'm going to raise the breakpoint if Y is in eight bit and contain exactly zero zero. I can also simply uh, ask for something different. For example, I want only to be stopped uh, when Y register contain a sixteen bit value, who could be uh, greater than this one or lower or different and so on. The value are not signed. Would be the same here. Um, I want to catch or to be stopped. Uh, by a breakpoint if someone read a value uh, in the SCB or read a specific value in 8-bit or read a specific value uh, in 16-bit. Also could be a specific write or specific read or write with always uh, comparison uh, things. Uh, let's take uh, an easy one. So I'm going to, to stop uh, when I call the random uh, function uh, in my Apple to JS Karate, and I'm especially interested by the result of the function, so I would like more to be stopped on the uh, exit part. So GRN exit would be my uh, symbol. So simply go here, pick up the GRN uh, exit symbol, sort by name, uh, go to GRN, and select the GRN exit, that's the one. He has been relocated. Okay, perfect. I can see that the GRN symbol is part of the Apple 2GS Karate executable under the segment name main. Okay. Uh, in this case, I'm more interested in execution. Okay. And when uh, this function is going to be called, or at least I'm going to touch uh, this line of code, I want to stop the execution. I can also do something else, but for the moment I want to stop. And I was always to stop. I can also ask to only stop for the first 10 times and not the next one. Or I can also ask for, okay, I want to uh, not be called at the first time, but after, for example, the first five times, but Every other call will, will, will require a stop. For the moment, I stay I'll always and I simply uh, want to stop the execution. By default, my breakpoint is disabled, so I need simply to enable it. Uh, and from this moment, the, um, the breakpoint is ready. I can simply run the execution of the software and start the game. As soon as a breakpoint, uh, as soon as I'm going to ask 
for uh, GRN exit, and I see that we are at the end here of the execution, I can see at the bottom of the screen that the, he has, the software has stopped because of the breakpoint, breakpoint number one, which is of course the only one I have, but this is my breakpoint number, and uh, I stop because of I read the GRN exit code. Uh, if we could see here, exit means the end of the function, and in the age register, I have the value of my random number. I can directly read, read the value here. So uh, I'm about that the value of the roundup would be, uh, in this case, uh, 2C. Uh, that's the value of the A register, uh, which is here, and will be sent back to, uh, the, uh, to be sent to the color function. What I can do also, instead of having to read every time the value here, I can decide. So if I need to update my breakpoint, I simply click on modify. And this time, I simply want to print the result of something here in the output part instead of having to stop the code every time. So I can use, uh, so I'm going to put uh, the name of the function and I want to display the content of the A register at the end. So I simply put into bracket uh, keyword. So A means the value of the uh, A register. I can also use the global operation ID as a keyword just to know exactly where I am uh, in the execution process. So print means printing something in the output. So I simply say yes, it's still uh, enabled. So now I'm going to run. And <clears throat> now the software do not stop anymore, but uh, at the opposite, what we can see is every time the random function is called, we have now a print uh, directly here. So what we see is the global operation ID value, my get render number uh, label, and the value of the return of the function. So breakpoint is pretty easy to use in that way. So you print, you have also the capability to not only to print here, but to go directly on a file. So I simply going to modify. And here you can say I print on a file. So uh, could be uh, any uh, text file and here up to you. Uh, to put a file here and so you can direct redirect the output of the value directly in a file if you need to uh, record some of the of the settings okay so as we have seen here the symbol was based on uh, the breakpoint was based on a symbol file symbol file of course required the symbol file to be uploaded and relocated uh, as we can see here our symbol have been relocated okay the thing is how can we stop the execution of a program at this very early beginning okay the thing is if i want to stop on my main that will be hard because uh, of course the definition of the main symbol only exists once of course uh, the executable has been put in memory and relocated by gsos so one of the idea to stop the execution of a code at a very very early beginning is uh, to use i would say a fake uh, operation okay so probably i need an operation rep zero doesn't mean doesn't do anything it's 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 a value valid operation but it, it probably never found on any software so the idea to create um, so i'm going to delete that one i'm going to create a new one and this time I'm, i want to stop the execution of a software based on uh, a nearly fake operation that i'm not going to find anywhere else uh, i'm going to stop and i'm going to enable uh, the process the breakpoint let's <clears throat> exit the software here and now i'm going to restart the software okay let's stop let's review the breakpoint the only breakpoint i have is a breakpoint which is enabled stop on operation rep1 <clears throat> and not on symbol could be symbol but symbol is only active once the file has been uh, up uploaded it's like a kind of chicken eggs uh, issue here so i'm starting uh, the software <clears throat> and now we can see that apple 2 gs karate has been stopped it's a very, very early beginning of itself. And now because he has stopped, he has a capability to automatically reload the symbol file and the symbol file to be relocated. And now I have a clean disassembly. So from here, this is the first line of execution of my software. I can, of course, continue. <clears throat> and this will be the only time the 
breakpoint will be called because of course the REP uh, 00 operation is in the wrong place.